Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, so thankful you're here with us today. We're going to be looking at the 20th century New Testament. I remember in the 26th translation New Testament, which I've done a couple reviews on that, I remember seeing the 20th century New Testament. What is it? Let's see what it is. The 20th century New Testament, this is coming from Wikipedia, is an English translation of the New Testament, originally published in three parts between... 1898 and 1901. It's considered the first translation of the Bible into present-day English. Now, what they mean by that, obviously the revised version had come out in 1881, New Testament, 1885, whole Bible. The ASV came out in 1901. But they mean kind of like modern language. So, after further revisions based on suggestions from readers, the final ver version was published in 1904. Now, it's kind of cool. Look, look at this. This is cool to me. The 20th century New Testament was produced in Britain over a period of 15 years by a group of approximately 20 people. Although they were all fluent in the Koine Greek, or the common Greek of the New Testament, the translators were not professional scholars, but a varied cross-section of society. Ministers, housewives. I've wondered, you know, how many housewives know Koine, as some people say, or Koine Greek, Koine Greek. Um, school teachers, railroad workers, you know, railroad worker learning, learning Koine Greek. Businessmen. However, they share the desire, as the preface to their work puts it, to do for the English nation what has been already done for the people of almost all other countries, to enable Englishmen to read the most important part of their Bible in that form of their own language which they themselves use. As the project progressed, J. Rendell Harris and Richard Francis Weymouth, two well-known scholars of the time, voluntarily advised the group. Now, one thing I haven't done research on yet is is this also called the Weymouth Translation, because there's a Weymouth Translation. I'm not sure about that. Helping to ensure scholarly integrity. Also, translation was done using the then cutting-edge West Cotton Hort text of the Greek New Testament, because as they put it, the vile textus receptus, further adding to the accuracy of their rendering, and I would disagree with that. In a break with most translations, the TCNT, the Trinity, the 20th century New Testament, arranges the New Testament books in the order scholars believe they were written. Mark comes before Matthew, for instance. They also include brief introductions before each book. Because of the translator's meticulous attention to the best scholarship of the day, Bruce Metzger concluded that their version still holds up remarkably well despite the lapse of over 100 years. And one I've already done a review on, a modern revision of the TCNT called the Open English Bible was released in 210 as a public domain Creative Commons CCO license work. And some references to this was F.F. F. Bruce's The History of the Bible in English. Great book. I highly recommend. And Bruce Metzger, The Bible in Translation by Baker Academic. So fascinating. Seems like not only the making of books, but the making of translations, there is no end. God bless. Talk with you later. Thanks for being here. Hit the bell notification when you subscribe. Join us daily. Listen to our other videos. Put it on social media. Share with your friends. God bless. We love you in Jesus' name.